Hey there, quick note before we dive in, what you're watching right now is a lesson from one of my courses that I've decided to release completely for free here on YouTube so you don't have to pay a dime. So instead of asking you to buy my course, if you want to show your appreciation, here's a couple of things that you can do. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. These small actions tell YouTube to share my content with more people, which is a huge help. Also, feel free to check out my recommended equipment links in the description below. If you do purchase equipment from these links, I do get a small commission at no extra cost to you whatsoever. Or if you want to, you can leave me a super thanks or even just hit play on one of my playlists. I know it sounds silly, but if you just hit play on one of my playlists and let it play in the background, even if you're not paying attention, it again, it tells YouTube, hey, people are watching these videos. I'm going to push it out to more people. So even if you just want to do that, I would love it. I would appreciate it so much. And then lastly, if you're looking for more personalized help, I do offer private coaching that you can find in the description of this video. Either way, I really appreciate you whether you choose to do one of these things or not just by simply watching this video it means a lot to me thank you so much now let's get to the lesson all right let's talk about denoising your audio now first things first the best way to use a denoiser is not using one I know, I know for some of us, we're in situations where we have no other option, which is why some of you are watching this video. I'm just saying the goal is to set up your home studio so that you don't have any noise issues causing problems in your audio. But again, for some of us, that may not be possible at this very moment, but you should definitely be trying to get to that point whenever possible. Now, technology is progressing at an alarming rate and these denoisers are getting really, really good almost to the point to where you can't even notice that they're being used on some audio in some cases. However, it can still cause issues with your audio if the noise you're dealing with is too loud or it's a sporadic sound like police sirens or a dog barking or something like that. Denoisers work best on a noise that is consistent. For example, the noise we're dealing with today is some white noise or hiss. The hiss stays at the same volume throughout and doesn't change in tone or pitch, so the denoiser won't have a hard time detecting or working on getting the noise out of the audio, whereas if the noise was constantly changing in volume or pitch, the denoiser would have a tough time getting it out of the audio without negatively affecting the voice. All right. In this video, I'll be using a denoiser from Isotope, link in the description of this video, as well as a free denoise tool that comes with your DAW. We'll start with the free ones that come with the DAW. So first things first, here is our audio. Let's just go ahead and play through it so that you can hear what we're dealing with. Obviously, you can see the noise right here. It's a light hiss. As a voice actor, I don't want you to be dealing with some insanely loud noises because like I said, the louder the noise, the harder it is for a denoise uh, tool to get that out of your audio without hurting your voice. So this is, uh, you know, about as far as I would want the noise to be a problem. I wouldn't want it to be much more of a problem than this is right here. So um, the other thing I would say is make sure you're wearing headphones that's really going to help here a lot so let's go ahead and play through this audio and listen to what we're dealing with so here we go one of life's greatest pleasures is a home-cooked meal at hellofresh we're making it even easier to cook great meals from scratch we've done all the hard work for you now you've got the fun part order online at hellofresh.com today So obviously you can hear that that hiss here. And the reason I left so much hiss here at the end of the audio is there are some denoisers that will allow you to just highlight the noise and you can basically let the tool learn what this noise is uh, and it becomes a little more efficient at getting just this out without negatively affecting the voice. Um, but okay, let's start, like I said, with the free tools that come with your DAW, in this case, Adobe Audition. So first things first, I'm going to go here, go down to noise reduction, restoration, and then simply go right over to denoise. Now, the easiest way to use this plugin is to just go to presets and go to light noise reduction. Okay. If you just click light noise reduction, when I hit apply down here, you're going to see this noise go away. So check this out. Now, the noise is still there slightly because I can still see it. And if I play it, listen, order online at hellofresh.com today. It's still slightly there, but it is way, way, way less noticeable. And it didn't negatively affect the voice because I didn't crank the settings of this tool. So let me just undo and bring this denoise tool back up because there's another thing that you could do. Instead of doing that, you could just take this amount slider all the way down 
And with headphones, make sure you have headphones on, um, you basically increase the slider until you hear this noise go away. So let me just go ahead and highlight the noise only. I'm gonna make sure down here I've set this to loop playback so it's only gonna loop the highlighted section, this uh, noise. And I'm just gonna bring this up until I hear the noise go away. So here we go. All right, now the noise is still there because you can see it down here, or, or at least it, it got it down to close to what my noise floor originally would be. We're not quite there. But again, the noise is audibly gone, okay, without me like cranking my headphones all the way up. You know, with me at normal headphone listening volume, that noise is gone. And so now what I would do is instead of applying it, because it would just apply it to this noise section, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight all of this and let it play. One of life's greatest pleasures is a home-cooked meal. At HelloFresh, we're making it even easier to cook great meals from scratch. We've done all the hard work for you. Now you've got the fun part. Okay, that sounds good to me. I'm going to hit apply. And what do you know? Most of that noise is gone. Maybe there's maybe there's just a tiny little bit there, but it's, it's nothing that's going to get you in trouble. Okay, and again, order online at HelloFresh.com today. The voice may have muffled just a little bit. Maybe just a little bit. But it's nothing drastic. It's nothing insane. One thing you want to listen for is, does the voice sound like it's underwater? Is it heavily altered in any way? Is it heavily muffled? Any weird stuff that you hear happening to your voice, all that means is you would just want to back your slider off a little bit. And if it brings the noise back in a little bit, so be it. It's better than destroying the voice throughout the whole recording. Okay, so that is the free tool that comes with your DAW. So now let's use Isotope instead. So this is a third party plugin that you can buy from Isotope. That's the company that makes it. Uh, link in the description of this video if you're interested in buying this. I'm gonna go down to VST3 and then I'm gonna go down to Restoration and then I'm gonna go to Isotope and then I'm going to go find, where is it, where is it? Here we go, RX10 Voice Denoise. So here we go. All right, now with this particular plugin, it's set right now and it's adaptive mode. And all that means is it's going to, uh, it's just adapting to what it's hearing. So I'm gonna just, I would just play this audio and it would try, the, the tool would try to think, okay, what am I hearing in the audio that's a noise? And what am I hearing in the audio that's a voice? Okay, well, let me get rid of that noise so the voice can be prominent. That's what's happening right now with this checked. So what I like to do is pretty much the same thing I just did with the other one. I'm gonna take the reduction slider all the way down and I'm literally just gonna play through this audio until I hear the noise go away. Or you could do what I did before and just loop that. But I'm just gonna play through the audio for this example. So here we go. One of life's greatest pleasures is a home cooked meal. At HelloFresh, we're making it even easier to cook great meals from scratch. We've done all the hard work for you. Now you've got the fun part. Order online at HelloFresh.com today. Okay. I was still hearing the noise just a little bit, but I was also just slightly hearing the voice being altered. Again, very, very slight. You might not even hear it at all. I've been listening to this stuff for years, so I was just hearing a little bit of a problem. So I'm just, I'm just going to leave it at 10, and I'm going to say it's good. Now, remember what I said. The sound that you're dealing with matters a lot, okay? If this happened to be a louder white noise or a sporadic noise... I probably wouldn't want to take this reduction slider too high because, again, it will start to negatively affect the voice because it's going to have a hard time differentiating this sporadic noise with the voice. However, this noise is so consistent and low in volume, it's not as much of a problem. Okay, so now all I would do is hit apply. And then, as you can see, there is still a little bit of noise there. But again, it's the balance you're looking for. Order online at HelloFresh.com today. The hard work for you. Now you've got the fun part. Order online. The voice still sounds pretty decent. I mean, you know, only really trained ears would be able to tell, oh, you know, something's going on with that audio. I don't know. But again, be gentle, okay? But then there's a second way that you can use RX voice denoise, and that is uncheck adaptive mode here. And then now you are the one that's responsible for telling this plugin what the noise is that you're wanting to get rid of. Well, I'm just going to highlight that noise right there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click learn and then play the audio.
Now that it's learned that noise, I'm just going to double click and highlight all of my audio and click apply. And then there you have it. Okay, again, the noise might slightly still be there, but it learned what that was and it took it out of the audio. Okay, so again, when it comes to denoise, just a final reminder. You don't want to go too heavy on this. You don't want to rely on this if possible. I know some of us are in situations that we just we can't help it. We have to rely on a denoiser. Um, Make sure you go and check out, there is one more denoiser that I love called Waves Clarity. I have a whole video dedicated to Waves Clarity in this uh, section, so make sure that you go check that video out. I, it's like an hour long. I dive really deep into the settings. There's two versions of Waves Clarity that you can use, so make sure to go check that video out as well. And then just decide which denoiser is going to work best for you. Hopefully you don't need to use one, but that's how you use a denoiser.